guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany Morse and I am a fifth grade teacher. This is going to be my eighth year teaching and I teach in Tennessee. Today is one of my favorite videos to vlog. It is the classroom haul and it's going to be a mix between Target, Dollar Tree and Amazon, of course, Amazon. Baby, I did want to say um, welcome to those who are new to this channel. I know during the beginning of the school year, a lot of us get a lot of new subscribers or people just stumble on our channel. So if you are new here, I am so glad. Let's be friends. Uh, if you do not follow me on Instagram, I post a lot there on Instagram stories and my handle is the same thing as my channel at a messy bun teacher. I'm going to start with the Amazon things. Uh, there are a few things that I bought and there are a few things from my wish list. If you have never made an Amazon wish list, I highly encourage that you do that and send it out to your family and friends before your school starts. And then also let your parents know, uh, your students' parents know that you have an Amazon wish list, whether it be you posted on your website or a handout with all the paperwork they get at the beginning of the school year, or maybe you have a display of things that you need. I mean, they can just simply do a QR code to look up on your wish list. I guarantee you there are people out there that want to donate and they just don't know how or what to buy. And when you provide them with the list already done and they don't have to go get it, it just mails it to you. It can be easier. Let's get started with Amazon. Um, these are the few things that I bought um, from Amazon just because I needed them right away. Um, the first one's kind of boring, but it's the Astrobytes cardstock. Now I didn't really, I wasn't planning on getting Astrobytes. I was just looking on Amazon for white cardstock because I was in need to make some of my bulletin board things for this year. And this was the cheapest one on Amazon. Um, there are normally like 200 um, in a pack for like $10. I just wanted a quick, this is like 75, I believe. Um, and it is, you know, it's extra bright. So they always have good colors and good quality. Um, so this is going to be used for some of my bulletin boards. Now, if you've ever seen my classroom, um, from last year's videos, I don't have any bulletin boards. So I am going to make shift a few of my whiteboards into bulletin boards this year. Um, because I want to display more content things, um, examples and anger charts. And I just don't have any boards to do that. Um, and I honestly hardly have any wall space as well. When I start doing my classroom setup videos, you'll kind of see what I'm talking about. Um, but I definitely work in a non-traditional school. We definitely have a lot of things that you wouldn't normally see in a classroom, but I'm very grateful and I love where I work. Um, so I'm going to be using this for the bulletin board cutouts and all that stuff. So there's that. Oh yeah, I was going to put it over there. <laughs> okay, this next thing I am so excited about. So I have been doing some researching and stalking, if you may, on some vlogs and blogs and websites and all those things that are out there for teachers. And uh, I have found, and I'm sure you've heard of it, maybe you even did it last year, Desk Pets. Now, before you fast forward, you're like, I don't got time for that. Uh, I agree. Uh, but there are some things that students will just latch on to. And I really believe that this is going to be one of the things they really get excited about. So two things. I teach fifth grade in a middle school. So I don't want to give something that's too babyish for them um, because they want to be like cool, like the upper grades. Um, so I was thinking the other night, of a different name I could give it and uh I don't know what that is uh a different name that I could give it to give it like more of a not a mature sound uh like a cool middle school sound so I came up with sidekicks um and I am going to let them pick a sidekick on various rewards that I give out and I'll get kind of get into that here in a second because I'm also excited about that um so they're gonna pick a sidekick um, and then they will have various accessories and food and little pets for their sidekicks. Again, if you have never heard of desk pets, I will definitely, um, tag some websites and YouTube videos 
that can explain it uh, because maybe you can do that this year. Maybe you teach second or third grade and that will be so awesome for the kids. Um, it's definitely used for a behavior management or reward system. I'm gonna use it for mainly reward system for my math and ELA. Did you just hear that right? My math and ELA. Yes, you did. I'm teaching math. If you haven't watched this video yet, I go into my decision to teach a math class this year. And I was one of those that said I was a horrible mathematician. I can't do numbers. I never want to teach math. And uh, yeah, never say never. And I'm actually excited about it. So instead of doing homework this year, uh, we have to give out like a weekly math thing. So I'll do that because we have to do that. But I am going to turn in their homework into a reward system to get them on Math Reflex. If you don't know Math Reflex, it is an incredible res resource. Yes, we purchased it in our school. Um, it's mainly to help them be fluent in their math facts, whether it's addition and subtraction or multiplication and division. If you look at Math Reflex, they also have a section for Gizmo, which is science standards, which is really cool. Um, and fractions, which I know we get into in fifth grade. So I am going to do a reward system for being on reflex um, outside of school. And then I'm also gonna do a reward system for reading. I am not a fan of the reading logs, like the traditional, how long did you read? I require 30 minutes a night. I just feel like that becomes a chore for the child. I don't want reading to ever become a chore. I want it to be a reward. I want it to be something that they look forward to. And so I found these amazing reading challenges and they are monthly. And so I'm gonna pass one out each month and um, for every four, cause I think there's 16 total, I'll put a picture here and I'll link this below as well. It's on TPT um, and it was very reasonable for the whole year. Um, and they choose whatever ones they wanna do. Like one of them is read in a bathtub. The other one is read at a restaurant while you're waiting for your food. Just easy things that actually, you know, make it fun and silly and enticing because I wanna create confident and passionate readers. I feel like reading logs, again, just become like a chore. So I say that all to say, my reading reward system and my math reward system will tie into these fun little sidekicks. So my plan is to give them a home, which will be like this small, I'll post it here, plastic container that you put like sides in like at restaurants, but they're like the plastic containers. They'll decorate their sidekick homes. And then when they are ready to purchase a sidekick, like if they did something on their reward system for math or they completed like 12 reading challenges in a month, um, I'll go into that. I'll actually create a separate video all about those two things um, because I'm, I'm actually super passionate about making strong, passionate readers. And also now that I'm teaching math and now that I've been there where I don't get math and I feel stupid and I, I don't want kids to ever feel like that. I want them to know they're amazing problem solvers. And so I could spend the whole video on this. Be looking for that video. I'll talk all about my math system and my reading system. I'll probably do that maybe a month or two into school to kind of give you an honest, um, view and perspective and maybe even talk to some of my parents before I do the video and see how they like it on their end um, because you know the parents and the guardians and the grandparents are going to be involved so I want to hear back from them if it's working if it's not working or if we need to tweak so with that being said I thought these cute little emojis um, would be our fun little sidekicks that they can choose and so I got this on Amazon. Again, I'll link everything in the description below if you want to um, purchase these. I got two of these. So I feel like I'm gonna organize this um, and it's going to, I'll probably use my Cricut. Hold on, you're gonna hear a lot of, that's annoying sound. Let me just, I'm gonna use my Cricut and, um, or print something off of PowerPoint, I don't know yet, and laminate it, but it's gonna say uh, Sidekick Shop or Sidekick um, what was I going to call it? Sidekick shop, sidekick, start with another S, but I, that's what I'm going to put the sidekicks in. I might even get some alien looking, uh, erasers or little monster ones. And those could be considered different sidekicks they can choose. So their goal is to collect as many as I can, you know, anything that they collect, 
kids will latch onto that. I really think this Sidekick uh, version of the Desk Pets will really be good for your fourth, fifth, and sixth graders. Um, honestly, I really would have loved this as a kid. Uh, so whoever created Desk Pets, kudos. And it's cheap. Like it's not like a, a huge reward system that you have to buy all these things all the time. And again, put it on your wish list. I guarantee you people want to donate. So that's where they're going to get if they earn a Sidekick. And again, I'll put like Sidekick Shop or something on that. Um, and I got a second one and I'll probably put like sidekick accessories and I'll put like different food erasers in here, little animal erasers in here, sports erasers, things that they can buy for their sidekick, um, to make it, you know, even more fun. So that's what I'm using those for. I'm not sure if I'll need more of these, but these are seriously, I think like $5. Um, and I like how they're already organized, um, so they can simply, cause I even thought about like pull out drawers, but I feel like that would take a lot of time because they could simply open it up and see which ones they want and put it in their little home. And I think they're going to keep them in their cubbies. Uh, we don't have lockers at our school. We have cubbies. If you don't have cubbies or lockers at your school, they can simply, um, be stored in a section in your classroom where you have all of them. Um, especially if they're, uh, are labeled and they have the student's name on them or the students can keep them at home or they can keep them in the backpack. I'm gonna require them to keep them um, and maybe at the end of each quarter, they can take their sidekicks they earned that quarter and start fresh. I don't know yet, this is new and I'll keep you posted. So that was a long one. I didn't mean to say that, but that's the reason why I got those things and I'm super excited about it. This came from my wish list, and I believe it was from Jennifer, so I don't know. It doesn't ever say the email or anything like that or the last name. So Jennifer, whoever you are, please let me know. Maybe email me or comment below. I would love to know and send you a thank you note um, from my students because all the things that you bought for my classroom is going directly towards the students, especially to help me with math this year because I have zero math resources aside from our curriculum and a few other things my friends have. I never taught math and so I don't have anything. So if you would like to donate to my classroom, I still have some math resources on my wish list. I'll tag that below as well. So Jennifer, thank you so much. Um, so she got these. Um, we teach fractions in fifth grade and so I thought these were wonderful. They're magnetic. Again, I have like whiteboard space everywhere in my room. Um, even with my bulletin boards, I feel like I'm gonna use magnets instead of like tacky tape or whatever. Um, so these will be perfect. You can um, tear them apart, but I love how this will be good for small groups or simply as manipulatives for the kids. Maybe use some um, like Dollar Tree cookie sheets that are me uh, metal and have the kids use those. So this will be very helpful for that and I'm excited. How many times can I say excited? Excited? Um, this was a fun little game card that I saw on Amazon and it's just called Math War and I honestly have no idea how to play it yet, but it's gonna be amazing for early finishers, small groups, whatever, but it's called Math War from School Zone um, and it's multiplication, which I know that the kids uh, need a lot of help with our math facts. So any way that you can change like memorization into a game. And the other thing she got were these fun little stickers. Um, these will go into my, uh, they will go into my treasure box. And usually in my treasure box, I have, uh, cards that'll say sit by a friend or, um, they'll say, uh, sit with a friend at lunch or now I can't even think of it. Um, oh, I have like Mr. Sketch tattoos, which, um, was in this video if you want to watch it, but it's an easy reward system that they use and they'll tell me what kind of cartoon, not cartoon, I'm not an artist, uh, like shape they want, what scent they want, and I'll put it on their hand. So that's one. And then I always have these stickers in my treasure box because they love them, especially for their water bottles. But this pack came with some cute, there's like a little bear. Um, I think these came like 200. I'll link these below if you like this sticker. I know that Lessons with Laughter, um, she teaches, I think in California, and she had a, like a whole wall of stickers and that was one of her reward systems. 
So I'll link that blog post below as well because that sounded like a lot of fun. Um, so thank you so much, Jennifer. And the last thing she got me, my very favorite sticky notes. I am a sticky note obsessed teacher. Um, these are what I use for my to-do list. And my favorite is because they are super sticky and they are the bigger, they're four by four and they have the lines and look at those fun colors. That just makes me happy. Um, but I love how big they are and I use this for my to-do list. I have a planner this year, but I'm not going to use that for a to-do list. I only really use that for lesson plans and documentation. I use this because every day before I leave to go home, I will put my top three um, or a few things that I need to do that next day. That way when I'm coming in the next morning to work, I'll see this on my computer or straight on my desk and I'll know exactly what I need to do that day. I'll stay focused instead of being like a squirrel and oh yeah, I need to do this. Oh yeah, I need to do that. Um, it's all in one location and it's bright and it's cute and it's going to stand out on my desk and on my computer wherever I choose to put it. But I love how big these are. So Jennifer, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much again. Jennifer, you, if you're watching, please send me your email so I can send you a thank you card. All right, I think that was it for Amazon. Now we're moving on to Dollar Tree. I only have one thing from Dollar Tree. Um, I've been stalking my Dollar Tree and I haven't found anything that all you guys are posting on Instagram about and they're so cute. And my Dollar Tree doesn't have that. So I got these stickers to go with my planner. I thought these were adorable. Um, Stickers can cost a lot. Um, they didn't come with a bunch. And oh, oh, I'll give you one guess on who got into mommy's stickers. They're only a dollar. Look at that. That little stinker. Oh, well, she loves stickers. I'm not going to hate her for it. I guarantee you she's going to be a teacher. I love you, Lila, if you are watching this. But ask mommy next time, okay? These are super cute, though. Um, I can't blame her for wanting some, but look how cute and they're sparkly and they're from the Dollar Tree. I got this in the front section where they have, um, it wasn't in the school section, but it was close to the front, but I feel like all Dollar Trees are arranged differently. So, um, I got this from Target. So we're moving on to Target. Actually, one more thing. Oh, I almost fell. We're good. We're good. This I got from Home Goods. Again, I couldn't find anything at Home Goods. Uh, let me preface this for the Target dollar spot, for Home Goods, for garage sales, for anything that you need for your classroom. Think about what you can use it for. And if you can't think of it, don't get it. And also, this is my eighth year teaching. I have collected things um, on a yearly basis. And so I didn't have all these things my first year teaching. I had a lot of hand-me-downs and a lot of things from the garage sale. And I loved my classroom. My kids loved my classroom and they felt loved and safe. And that's all that matters. So if you are feeling pressured by getting all these things, please don't. Uh, if you don't know how you're going to use it, don't purchase it. Save your money, invest in really good books for your kids. Um, I know that you can go to thrift stores and to grab sales and buy a bunch of books and that will help your kids even more so than cute little trinkets. But sometimes those trinkets make us happy and that's important too. And so if you wanna put those on your wish list, I guarantee you, send it out. There's people that want to bless your classroom and let them bless you and invest in things that you know will, will help you, but also help your students. All right. This is from Home Goods. I love a good scented marker and I am a Mr. Sketch number one fan. I have a huge bucket and it says Mr. Sketch tattoos. My kids love, love, love when they get that reward. Um, and so I got these to add into that bucket and they have all ice cream flavors, which is super fun. 12 and they're double sided, which Mr. Sketch, you need to step it up, bro. Ooh, that one is blueberry. Um, so they have the chisel, what are, what do they call it? Chisel tip and then the point tip. And I figured I would use these two for the anchor charts as well. That is what I got from Home Goods, and Home Goods has such good organization bins for cheap. I just couldn't think because I have so many of like what I would use it for. So I didn't get them. I'm really proud of myself for saying no. Now we're moving on to Target. 
these are like my aesthetic I feel like this year I'm just going with a lot of pastel bright colors but I also love to make my classroom feel like me and like my second home and make it feel cozy and so I love bringing in these really pretty soft colors where they're not too neon and bright um, but make it feel like really warm and just me these are scented uh, highlighters look how cute <laughs> They're so cute. I love them so much. They're from the More Than Magic brand from Target, and it's in the school section. Uh, love them so much. I might just open one up and smell it. Let's see if I can guess the smell. I'm just going to pick one random one. Ready? I'm going to close my eyes. Ready? Hold on. Hold on. Oh. I feel like I'm going to get it on my nose. Oh, I looked. Sorry, I looked. I can't smell it. <laughs> Let's try that again. Are you sure they're smelly? Oh wait, now I smell it. I guess you just have to start writing with it. Banana, that is banana. But look how cute, it looks like a little candy wrapper. This will go great in my little pencil uh, bag that's currently overflowing. I need to maybe get another one. But I love pens and highlighters. Ooh, oh my gosh, did I just get out of my nose? Oh, that smells so good. That's like orange. Oh, that smells really good. And so I love to highlight my notes, highlight things on documents, and not just use the boring yellow. I like to use fun colors um, and apparently fun scents. So I feel like I have like a paragraph. No. <laughs> sorry I feel like I have a novel every time I share something with you but I guess I'm just that excited about my school supplies this year super fun oh my gosh this one I felt so bad you know how Lila took some of my stickers she wanted to take this next thing and I had to tell her no boo boo that's mom's and it's coming with me to school I'll get you on when you have to get your school supplies but this one stays with mom because it took me back. Here I go again, but I'm telling you, this was like a, just a moment where I went back to sixth grade Brittany, to when I was in elementary and middle school and how much I loved Lisa Frank. Look at it, it's so cute. Lisa was my BFF. She never knew me. Um, she probably didn't want a little fourth grade girl running around but I loved everything she made. There was a unicorn one, there was this one, and there was like a leopard one and I got this one. And I feel like we haven't hung out in a long time. So when I saw Lisa Frank and her stuff in the school section, I just told my inner fourth grade, sixth grade self, it's time to come back. So I went back and I got a Lisa Frank notebook. How can you not love these little cute baby dolphins? Is it for my daughter? No. Is it for my students? No, it's for me and my staff meeting notes. Don't care what look I get from people, I'm gonna display this proudly. I might be going back and getting the other ones. And one for Lila, of course. So Lisa, Brandon, come back. My other thing from Target, uh, I have not found anything in the Target dollar spot, honestly. I really, again, like I've been stocking it and I have not seen anything. There are a few things that um, maybe some primary teachers would be able to use, but not a lot for like upper elementary or middle school. And so I've been kind of like disappointed in it. However, it's still only July and they could be just getting their stuff out still. But I did find this, uh, another math resource, and I'm excited to use this for small group. It is this dry erase tent pocket. So it's gonna look like this. And I, you can get a lot of inserts for it. Um, I saw a graphic organizer for ELA. There were some other like writing um, inserts, but I got the math one. Uh, there are a, uh, there's 10 frames, which will be nice um, for just, you know, things in math. I'm still getting the hang of math terms, okay? Uh, multiplication, uh, fraction action, which will be nice um geometry which i know we kind of get to at the end of the year and uh math facts 
number line, decimals, um, number placement, all those things that we will be talking about. And what a good idea target, great job. I think this will be a good visual for the kiddos um, for small groups when they come see me um, or they can practice with it because uh, it's dry erase. And yeah, so I'm excited about that. And those were $3 each, so really affordable. The last thing I'm gonna show you is my planner. I did a whole video about my planner and how the inside looks and I'll tag that here and I'll tag it below in the description. But if you didn't watch that, let me show you what I got. I usually use happy planners, um, but this year I thought I'm going to try the For the Love of Pie planners because I've heard so many amazing things from this company. She is a teacher, the math teacher, obviously, um, and she has been creating these wonderful, really robust, rich planners that honestly, there's maybe one or two things that I won't use. Everything else I'm really going to use and I think is beneficial. Um, I do have some stickers. I got this one last year from Hobby Lobby. It's just seasonal ones that I'm going to use. And then I got, I've already used the front of it. This is another um, one for different seasons. So I'm not going to go all out with stickers this year. Um, maybe just a few for different uh, months. So this is the cover of it. I chose the pastel tie dye, adorable. You can customize it. There's so many things. So if you want to know more about this planner, I highly recommend watching that video and it goes into everything that comes with it, everything that's in her planners um, because they are really by teachers and for teachers. So there's that. Um, honestly, there's only a few things that I still need. I still need a few more accessories for the, um, the, uh, now I can't even think, sidekicks that we're doing. Um, so I'm going to get some fun erasers on that. I'll also put them on my wish list, um, for any donations. And, uh, there are a few more math resources on my wish list that I still need to get. Um, but honestly, I'm set. I have all the books that I want. There are a few books that I might pick up at if I see them at garage sales and stuff, but I have a bunch of books. Um, and a lot of the bulletin board slash interactive board or whatever you want to call it, um, in my room, I got off TPT and I used the dollar sale that they had on July 3rd and 4th. And I bought over 20 items. A few of them were science for uh, Brady because I know she was out of town and she couldn't get on TPT and I had to get them because they were a dollar. And everything literally was five or six dollars each and then turned into a dollar for the sale. I, it was really hard to not get everything, but I didn't. Uh, so a lot of those things um, on TPT are math resources um, because I have so many ELA, ELA things and I'm really confident in that because I've taught it for six, seven years. Um, so math is a new challenge for me and I'm really, really excited um, for this new challenge and the other things on TPT. I have found this amazing TPT author. Um, I don't know her real name, but her name on Instagram and TPT is Pretty Meets Functional. She has my aesthetic like dead on. I'm like, are we best friends? Do we know each other? Are we sisters? Uh, she has different versions of them. There's like Simply Modern. There is um, Composition, uh, Bright Colors, which have that Composition Notebook look, which is really cute. I use that for my website. Um, and then the, it's not really decorations. It's very useful. It's the, um, kind of the interactive stuff I'm going to use on my board that was called simply bright and they're all pastel colors and they're all bright. And so it's not like neon in your face, but it has like the cubes method that I need for math. It has, um, some, uh, number placement posters. It has multiplication facts. Uh, and it has, I even got the ELA poster one, um, which has the read acronym that we use. So I'm excited to use those. So if you um, are in the market for any of those things, or if you wanna create your own teacher website, I really, really urge you to go to her TPT store. It's called Pretty Meets Functional. I'll tag it below. And she has the cutest 
aesthetic, but they're all useful. It's not just fluff. Like it's really things that will help you with communication with your parents um, and also your classroom to help your kids become more successful. Uh, so I will probably do a different video for the sidekick stuff I was going to do um, in the math and reading reward. I'll do that as a separate video and I'll do that like two months into school. Um, so be looking for that maybe in September. But I will do a, a one very soon on the website that I'm going to be doing for my families uh, with all the communication newsletters, uh, wish list, and our agenda. All those things will be on that one place for parents. The more you can simplify for families, the better. So that video will be about how I built that. Um, I used Pretty Meets Functional um, stuff and she creates tutor tutorials to help you. Um, especially if you're new to Google Sites. Um, I also used her things for my back to school slides for my kids and my orientation slides for my parents. Um, so I will do that video next. So be looking for that very soon. And then after that, I'll be setting up my classroom and you should see those videos soon as well. And thank you guys so much for watching this. And if you love classroom hauls as much as mine, give this a thumbs up so other teachers can see this. Um, again, thank you so much for just coming along this journey. I really believe that this is gonna be an incredible year for you. And maybe you're not even a teacher, but you support educators or you have kids in school. Uh, thank you so much for your prayers and support. I still believe this is the best job ever. And I feel like last year was crazy, but this year is going to be um, even better because we grew from that experience. So give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribing, join the fam and I will catch you guys in the next video. Life can be messy, but there's always joy to be found. Bye guys.